table of contents, also known as a TOC, is basically anytime you have a large manual or a lengthy report or anytime page references are necessary, you'll build a list of your topics with the page numbers called a table of contents. And there's rules to these. So the rule one is basically a, a table of contents is usually on its own page. Occasionally it can be on the you know second part of a cover page if it's a very short handout. Rule number two, table of contents link to heading styles. So it's really important to apply heading styles to each line that you want to show up on your table of contents. Well, that means there's a process to this. So the the main process is applying the heading styles throughout the document. Also, activate the navigation pane. Now mine is already already open right over here, but let me close it and reopen it. It's on the View Ribbon Navigation Pane. It would be great to have that open while you're doing this. Inserting page numbers, to apply page numbers, that is on the, um, the Insert Ribbon way over here on the right hand side. It says Page Number. I'm going to apply mine to the bottom of the page and I'm going to choose the right hand side. Now when I activate that, and actually opens up the footer and shows me my page number there. So to get out of my footer, I'm simply going to double click back into the text of the document, double click. There we go. The document is now lit up and the page number is shaded. So I know that I'm back into my main document and page numbers are applied. Okay, and then the references ribbon, which is where on the references ribbon table of contents, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay, here's the steps. First of all, select each heading and apply a heading style. So I'm going to use heading one and heading two, home ribbon, heading one and heading two will be applied throughout this document. So let me show you how to do a couple of those. First of all, I'm just going to click into the line. I could select it if I want to. This is a paragraph function, so just clicking into the line will be fine. And I'll click heading one. Now I'll click into topic two and click heading one. Now I'll click on the word rules. I want this to be heading two. It's a subtopic, heading two. Now even though it stayed flush left on my document and the text is a little smaller, look what happened in my navigation pane. It has been set off to the side because I can tell it's heading two. Now I'm going to go through, I'm going to continue this, but topic three I'm going to apply heading one. Okay, so I'm going to push pause, finish my headings, and then we'll come back and finish the lesson. So pushing pause, I'll be right back. All right, you can see off to the left in my navigation pane, all my topics have headings applied to them. And it's really easy for me now just to click around my navigation pane to zoom to that spot in the document. So, but notice my navigation pane doesn't have page numbers on it. This is why we need the table of contents. All right, so we already applied the page numbers. We now need to put a page break at the top of our document so that our table of contents can land on its own page. So I'm going to go ahead and control home up to the top. I do have a title already written for my table of contents. I'll hit enter and now I'm going to press control enter. Now I could go to insert break page breaks, but control enter forces a page break pushes all my topics to the second page and notice my page one is mostly blank except for the heading up at the top. All right, time for the table of contents. So on the references ribbon on the left hand side, table of contents, I'm going to just apply this very top one says automatic table one, click, and there you have it. When I scroll up, you can see all my topics and the page numbers. Now notice when I float my mouse over it turns gray. It's because this is a function. So basically a great big field called table of contents has been created. Notice also when I float my mouse it says control click to follow this link. Control click follows that link. Very nice but now I have to control home to get back up to the top but control click follows that link. Now the navigation pane follows a link as well. It's just that a lot of people don't know about the navigation pane and so it, as long as they read the tooltip, they'll know that a control click will send them here. All right, the next step is to update this, but that's in the next lesson. So off to the next lesson. Thank you.